Hey guys, Dave here from Easy Country Cooking and Cooking Share. You know what? It's time for another 30 minute midweek meal. But you know, you've heard of beef broccoli and all kinds of stuff like that, but today I thought I would make chicken broccoli. Yeah, something a little different. I made chicken broccoli. It came out absolutely incredible. You're gonna wanna make this, like I say, quick and easy and won't break the budget. So let me show you how to do it. Okay guys, first things first here, we're going into a pan with a tablespoon of oil and this is over medium high heat. Then throw in a pound or about half a kilo of boneless skinless chicken breast that I've cubed up. And you don't have to use boneless skinless, you can use just about any kind of chicken you like. And I don't know about you, but I just love that sizzling fry. Season our lives up with a teaspoon of salt. Well, not our lives, but the chicken's life or lack up there. Some ground black pepper, and I'm gonna go a little heavy on this, maybe a couple of teaspoons, cause I just love ground black pepper. And about a teaspoon of oregano or oregano, however you wanna say it. And this is good enough for me, but of course you can add your favorite seasoning. And we're just gonna go ahead and stir and fry this until it cooks through, and this will just take a few minutes, maybe, you know, because it's boneless skinless, I'd say five minutes, something like that. Now our chicken is pretty much cooked through and looking good. I'm gonna go in with a small chopped onion and three cloves of garlic because I love garlic so much. And we'll just stir and saute this until that wonderful, wonderful aroma of garlic and onion fill the air. Now the onion and garlic are fragrant and everything is smelling good. I'm going in with three quarters of a cup of long grain rice that I've washed and of course it is uncooked. Yeah, we'll give everything the old stir rooney here until it's well combined. Oh, this is starting to look good already though, guys. And I should mention too, you don't have to use long grain. You can use the rice of your choice. Basmati, jasmine, whatever you like. Up next, we're gonna pour in two and a half cups of chicken stock. Now you don't have to use chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock, but I like the old chicken stock. And of course, we'll give everything a stir around and bring it to a burl. After a boil here, guys, I'm just gonna reduce the heat a little bit, slip a lid on, and let this simmer away for about 12 minutes or so until that rice is cooked through. By the way, guys, I did go fishing the other day and it didn't go so well. I got skunked, but that video or a fishing video is coming up. After about 12 minutes or so, guys, this is looking really, really good. So I'm gonna pull that lid off. And, oh, just look at this. The smell is incredible. Now it is time to add in the star of the show, those broccoli florets. And we'll just kind of evenly, or not so evenly, distribute these out. And these are just a couple of stalks of broccoli. Then grab up a couple of spoons and just toss everything together kind of wildly, or not really wildly, but just toss them until that broccoli is well mixed in with the rice. Doesn't this look incredible, guys? I mean, life doesn't get any better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slip that lid on and we are just gonna let this simmer away for another few minutes until that broccoli cooks through and turns nice and beautiful green. So after about eight minutes or so, everything is looking good and that broccoli is cooked through. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with half a cup of Tex-Mex cheese because I just love cheese and it doesn't get any better than cheese, I think anyway. Once again, give everything the old stir and toss until that cheese is melted in with everything and looking absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, and the smell is just, what do they say, intoxicating, I guess. Yum. And you know what, guys, even though I've killed the heat, I have a hankering to spread just a little bit more cheese over the top, so I'm gonna do that. Because, let's face it, you can never have enough cheese. By the way, do you think I yap too much in my videos? Maybe I talk too much. I don't know, let me know in the comments section. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and throw that lid back on for a couple of minutes and let that extra cheese melt down so it's ooey gooey and so yummy. After a couple of minutes, everything is melted down, especially, well, the cheese is melted down anyway, and there you have it, that chicken, rice, and broccoli. Absolutely incredible. And really guys, I just cannot get over how good everything looks here. And you bite into this, it is just as good. The chicken is nicely done, that cheese, the broccoli, oh, it is absolutely spectacular. You are simply gonna love this. 
And if you make it off, leave us a comment because I love to read them. And most of all, subscribe and give us a like because it does help the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.